Have you ever wondered how to create smooth UI animations just like this? I just want you by my side when I get real gone. Feel it's been a little while since we got along. Yeah. We've been playing stupid games, the situation rotates, and they say communication, say relations, okay. With the method I'm about to show you, you can create any app UI inside a light motion. Normally, animations like this are made in Figma and then animated in After Effects. But today, if you stick with me through this video, I'll show you how to create the entire UI from scratch. Plus, at the end, I'm gonna show you how to create this sleek voice note animation. Stick to the end so you don't miss that part. Before we start, I would love if you can support the channel, give this video a like, and... Okay, let's check this out. There's a problem. If you look closely at this shape, you'll see one side has a sharp edge and the other side has rounded edges. So how do we create this without vector drawing? It's actually nothing complicated. And here's what I did. Create your rounded shape. Adjust the size, don't overdo it. Change the color to WhatsApp green. Duplicate it, set the radius to zero. Shrink it down and place it at the edge. Add a darker rectangle at the top. Group them together, and that's it. Repeat the process for all your chat box and tech. Alright, let's start the video. Open a project of 60 frames. Add WhatsApp default wallpaper. I'll drop a link to get the resources in the comments. I'm going to import all the text boxes I made. I already showed you how to create them. You can see they have timestamps on them. Add those too. Next, I'm going to add my text. You can use any chat of your choice. Just make sure they fit nicely in the box. You can add emojis to make the chat look lively. I'm adding this one. I'll speed this part up. Good. Now let's animate each box. We're going to create a fade up animation. Let's start with the one at the top. Add two keyframes. Go to the first keyframe and drag it down. After that, go to opacity and add keyframes. Reduce the opacity to zero at the first keyframe. Our text needs animation too. Go to the first text and add text transform. Use these settings. After making these settings, go to start Add keyframes at 0 seconds and around 1 second. Then set the values to 60 at 1 second. Good. Now you have this beautiful animation. Let's offset it. Repeat the process for all the boxes and text. It's the same process, I don't want to waste your time in this video, so I'm going to speed this up. As for the emojis, you'll need to make the same fade up animation we did earlier. Just offset it a little from the text.
and this is what we have guys notice the animation fades in one by one you need to add that as well just just offset them from each other now let's move to the next part this icon only appears when a message is seen on whatsapp so let's add it place it here Give it a fade in animation too. Let's add reaction emojis. I'll link all the resources in the comments. Make sure to check them out. Add a circle. Make it gray. Add a stroke. Now, go to the last text box, add the check icon we used earlier, repeat the process, and you should have something like this. We're going to use nose for a smooth transition. Group all your layers first, then add a null. Connect the group with null 1. Add a keyframe, then zoom in at the next keyframe using the Z values on the transform pad. And if you are enjoying the video, then a sub to the channel would be transformative. Uh.